So welcome guys. Today we have Mr. Ram Krishna Saran, uh, who has secured All India Rank 12 in Indian Forest Service in 2020. Who always, uh, who also secured that uh, All India Rank 404 in UPSC CSC 2021. And through that he got uh, Indian Police Service, that is the IPS. This year he also given the UPSC CSC mains of 2022. And uh, he is expecting for IAS, and we also wishing him best for his dream of becoming IAS in 2022 mains examination. Throughout his whole journey, he has an agriculture optional. But in today's session, he will explain you his strategy about his prelims, his mains, his interview, and overall for agriculture optional. Also. So I am uh, requesting Ramkrishna, please uh, just introduce about you and uh, prelim strategy. How you are uh, giving five times mains and qualifying prelims for every time. So please. Good morning, everyone. As sir has very kindly introduced me, I have attempted six uh, six attempts. They have given six attempts. And out of them, five times I have given men's and also five times I have cleared IFOS cutoff. So I think for prelims, a vote by my strategy was that uh, once I have done a very uh, a reading of basic standard tests, I used to attempt a lot of tests. So for example, in my first uh, two or three attempts, I used to write uh, attempt at least 40 to 50 mock tests for prelims. And along with it, I think the uh, importance of previous institutions are very high. So analyzing the previous institutions of last 10 years, let's say from 2013 to 2022. Uh, during that, what kind of questions the UPSC has asked? What is the pattern of questions? And also, how the UPSC is making us to do mistakes in the example. For example, uh, to make a statement incorrect, they sometimes put certain facts, certain data, certain committee report, name. So these factual informations, they make it deliberately wrong in the examination or in the options. Because it is easy for them to frame such options. Therefore, in prelims, I think we should... Uh, focus more on the previous institutions after the, our basic study of the standard text. And all the time we should also uh, write a lot of mock tests that will give confidence. So for prelims, uh, that is the thing. And also we should not uh, diversify our sources too much uh, because uh, I think one book uh, for one subject is an, more than enough. And if we go for more books, then it becomes very difficult to revise. Therefore, I suggest that uh, we should limit the sources and repeatedly revise them and also focus on the previous discussions, analyze them and solve mock tests that will help in the prelims examination. So what could be the ideal uh, time in the terms of months for any beginner? How much time it will take to uh, like preparation of prelims? So many students, they are in continuously year after year, they are in the prelims mode only. They never start for mains. Once they are uh, only clearing prelims, they start for mains. So what will be the overall uh, proportion of timing for prelims, mains and interview? Interview is just after clearing prelims, but how much time one beginner should give? So for uh, those students who have not, who have either their first attempt or who have not cleared the prelims yet, they have to, I think, at least uh, devote at least three months to the prelims because these days the exam is becoming difficult and also very, very so it is better we, we become we be prepared. So at least three and three and a half months are required for prelims, but not the whole year because before the uh, let's say for 2023 exam this time we can also study optionals and GS, but after. February or March, we have to, I think we should focus on the prelims. Okay. So now we will uh, move towards the men's examination. You have also given both type of men's like a civil service and Indian forest service. So uh, what do you tell about the men's preparation? From uh, which time students should start writing men's, like uh, answer writing for men's? It should be along with prelims or separately before prelim or after prelim. What was your strategy for men's preparation? For men's, uh, there are three, four things which are very important. One is that we have 
proper sort and very crisp notes for each and every word mentioned in the syllabus whether it is for general studies or for the optional the strategy is same and these notes should be crisp that means one or two pages for each, each topic not more than that so that they, it becomes very easy to revise them so one is uh, short crisp notes and then secondly is repeated revision of them that we have to do after that uh, when it comes to writing the uh, questions i think more we write better it is in mains examination so once we have done a basic study basic understanding of the topics i think we should start writing because when we do writing it will automatically improve much many things it will improve our clarity it will improve our expression it will improve the presentation the content how much we have to study how much what we have to learn so i am sure writing should be a regular process but the most intense arms writing happens after the preliminary examination and for those three months and i believe that if we do arms writing in these three months sincerely then also it is more than enough okay and what about the test series uh, how many test you have joined or you just uh, write yourself and just compare with the topper sensor what was the relevance of topper sensor copies or any particular test series of any particular uh, class or they have any relevance in actually in the mains because so many students are asking that upsc's standard is very different from the the mock test of the coachings so what was your experience in this regard my experience is that though uh, there are certain questions are different in upsc but you also ask the same type of questions every year so what i can see is that in last 5 years i what uh, the mains mains exams i have given there are many questions which are repeated this year also many questions were repeated and for many questions the answer was same the questions were also, also asked was same and the coaching institutes also sometimes pick these things and also writing test series has importance not directly in the content part but also in the time management part the presentation part so the hand i uh, hand eye coordination so th these areas i think uh, test series helps so i think we should focus on the test series but not only test series we can also write previous questions they are i think better than test series but if we have someone to evaluate them and also test series are important because it it helps us in revising fast so for agri ge general studies i uh, wrote previous questions that was very helpful because that helped me identifying the domain from which the upsc questions are asked the kind of uh, uh, questions upsc is asking and i also wrote the test uh, answers of the toppers that also helped me a lot because it helps you in uh, sometimes we feel that the toppers would be writing very very great answers and their answers would be something very different but once we write their answer and we uh, compare we really realize that our also answers are also almost same we need to make little bit of changes so that gives a confidence also we can also copy their some of their presentation style we can copy some of their good anecdotes good examples good conclusion style and so uh, these things helps in uh, final examination and for agriculture i have uh, joined a uh, test series with krishna bokare sir and that has he has evaluated in a very good manner and has helped me a lot okay so now we will move towards the indian forest service mains preparation in that we know we have a one paper of english another one is of the gs and uh, two papers of optional optional uh, one and optional two out of that you had agriculture as one of your optional and another was yes. geology i think if i am not wrong okay yes. so what was your strategy uh, for overall preparation of uh, that uh, ifos mains because you know that we are getting very less time like a 50 to 60 days after civil service mains and still you have secured like a very good rank all in a rank 12 in ifos so what was your that short duration strategy shouldn't want to know that uh for ifos for this year's mains i think we have around one month so time is less but i can tell you that many people study in this one month period and they clear the exam so it is not like that we cannot clear so we should start focusing now and what we can do is that uh, the best way and the shortest way is that we analyze the last five year papers 
write down those questions write down their answers and mark them up if we do it for five years let's say for five year agriculture forest men's questions and civil men's questions so there will be around 200 150 to 200 questions and if we write down those questions prepare their answers i think majority of the questions would be repeated in the examination but if we go by reading the whole syllabus then in one month it becomes very difficult because there are two optionals and also gs and english so the best part is to uh, read and write the answers of last five year question papers and keep on revising them okay now we will uh, move towards our main topic that is the optional you are in in touch with me since 2019 and you have seen very ups and downs in agriculture optional score and also becoming from non agriculture background so what are your first suggestions to those who are choosing agriculture as a optional and they don't have any background of biological science or agriculture graduation what would be your suggestions to them while choosing agriculture as a optional to the particularly for the engineering students my suggestion is that uh first thing is that when we go for agriculture we think that this is a general subject we have done agriculture in the past in our fields and so it is also very small it will be easy but after i i myself also thought that and took the subject but then i realized that the subject is very vast and it is uh, also very technical in nature and you have to write the science agriculture science type answers it is not general studies agriculture so what i believe is that before taking the options you should uh, take the guidance of any particular mentor or a person who have written mens with the agriculture so that he can give you a clear idea about what is the depth required in the uh, in the paper and also once you have selected those who have selected agriculture and as an you know, optional for them the strategy would be same uh, you stick to basic like uh, basic textbook or notes and then make your own short notes because being such a vast subject and also technical in nature it is important that we cover the whole syllabus in last 2 to 3 days of exam we revise it whole otherwise we will not be able to re uh, recall in the examination hall so making short notes repeatedly revise them and keep uh, regular answer writing and regular evaluation with the mentor i think that would help in the examination uh now another thing is that you have wrote two times a uh, test series with me so what was your genuine experience if you want to suggest other students how the test series is helping you and uh, like how you corrected your mistakes or presentation skill through the test series or particularly for the agriculture optional so uh the test series krishna uh, bokare sir test series has helped me in uh, first of all identifying the areas which are important then also it gives me since i was writing on time so it gave me a, a routine that i have to write this or this time this time so that i can revise it sure also helped me in revision and also by the reviews given by uh, the sir it also helped me in improving my the presentation the way i was presenting the neatness cleanliness and also the diagrams so in that aspect i got a lot of benefit from the test series okay now we will uh, move our last part of today's session that is your interview experience uh, of civil service and indian forest service what type of the question they have asked you uh, in that uh, particularly for your interview particular from agriculture optional agriculture optional uh, this time in csc 2021 they have covered almost measured many of the uh, topics that we study in agriculture in general studies for example the farm loan waiver farmers debt the cropping pattern the environment degradation the impact of climate change on agriculture so these major parts all these things in arm scheme so these parts they have covered sometimes they also ask very a uh, practical questions uh, so there you have to be very careful uh, for example once they asked me that uh, why people from the hanjesal hanumangad and ganganagar region take the uh, soil from there and spread it in, into the deserts of jaisalmer to raise the crops why they do so 
so the reason is that that hanumangad uh, and gangana region have clay soil and in jaisalmer there is sandy soil so if we mix them both it will be very good fertile it will be loamy soil so in that uh, i think such kind of practical questions also they sometimes ask me but uh, uh, one thing important is that for agriculture i have seen that if we have agriculture as an optional it give an advantage because uh, panel members always have interest in the agriculture and they feel also very connected with it so definitely they ask around for 10 to 15 minutes they ask questions on agriculture one student asked me one question in the comment box yesterday what you are going to choose ips ifs or you are still waiting for ias till now i am choosing ips but i have given examination if i get it that is well and good otherwise i will be with the ips okay that's all so thank you ram krishna sir uh, for joining with us and sharing your valuable time experience for uh, prelims mains and interview we wish that you will secure a good rank in upsc csc mains 2022 and achieve your dream of becoming an ias officer thank you thank, thank you. you sir thank you okay